guys, pizza people, foodies. Walking along the beautiful brownstones of Carroll Gardens, New York City, Brooklyn, New York City. Look what I got. All right, guys, let's do this. Last time I was here, I had the pizza inside the restaurant. I've never uh, had pizza for takeout here. So let's see how this pie has changed and what hasn't changed about it. Here we go, guys. Let's go. One of the most famous pizzas in all of the world, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, a little different than the last time I got it. You can see right away, guys, what I'm talking about. It's It's... A very rustic pie it's it's just there's nothing in the world that looks like it i like that they put the basil on the side for you like this it doesn't wither from the heat i'm gonna go ahead and uh put some of that basil where it belongs again you know they put the basil on the side so like this it doesn't wither from the heat Get it on there nice and evenly. I don't have a scissor like they do over at the Farrah. All right, basil on evenly. Let's pick a slice. How about this one? Okay, again, wood brick, brick oven, wood fired. So it's not gonna have the crisp of a gas oven pie. But the flavor is what matters, guys. This is a this is a pizza that just you gotta smell it, guys. You gotta smell it. Okay. Char on the bottom, typical of a wood-fired burning pie. Gotta fold it the right way. It's pretty stiff. No flop for a wood oven pie. Uh, and uh, it's absolutely the the smell. You gotta smell it. That basil. Not all basil smells the same. Three cheeses on this thing. Enough talking. Let's try it. Mmm. Look at that crust. What does that remind you of? It's an old world recipe right there. It's almost like pita bread. Okay, guys, let's move in for a closer inspection. Time for the analysis. Crust sauce cheese, all the right stuff. Uh, let's review it in detail. Okay, let's zoom in. Uh, the crust is one of a kind. It's kind of like a hybrid this pizza overall is the way i would define it is a hybrid between an authentic neapolitan and new york style that's what it is it's it's mark's own pizza mark iacono the owner of Lucali, he engineered this pie the, just look at the color of the of the crust first and foremost just look at the color of it it's almost uh it, it's kind of like a a grayish it's almost gray i've never seen a color on on a crust before like this it's almost grayish gray brown and it's so light and airy i mean I'm just look at that it's it's just so airy that it in some sections it will just uh, balloon open <laughs> it's very light you can eat a whole pie i'm telling you you could scarf down a pie and not feel full uh one of the best things about this pizza is the cheese there's three types of cheeses on it as you can see when we get closer you're going to see the buffalo mozzarella the regular whole milk mozzarella fresh mozzarella and you're going to see the shards of parmesan there's some shards of Parmesan right there. Uh, they put a considerable amount of it on the pizza. Here's some more on the crust. The cheese. You got buffalo mozzarella, which is kind of like, uh, it's not an oily cheese. 
It's less oily than, it's less fatty than cow mozzarella, regular cow mozzarella. A buffalo cow mozzarella is a, a really dense cheese and it really helps add contrast to this pie. Uh, you got the sharpness of the Parmesan. You got the creamy fresh mozzarella. And then you got the buffalo mozzarella, which they put on in like little uh, little dollops, as you can see. Uh, that looks like a piece of buffalo right there. Um, uh, they, they put it on in like little chunks. And the basil, oh, the basil. It's so fragrant. It is so fragrant. It, it just, when you taste it, it's just bursting with flavor. And that's the most important thing. Yeah, it's not the crispiest pie, but when you eat it, it just hits you in so many different directions. And uh, his sauce is also fantastic. It's almost like a blush sauce. And uh, as for the way he cooks the pie, definitely consider this a well done pie. Absolutely. There's a lot of char everywhere, as you can see. But look at the undercarriage. You know, typical wood burning. Not bad. So not the crispiest pie, but then again, it's a wood brick oven pizza. What do you expect? And the three cheeses really makes this pie a standout. It's what makes this pie a hit because they're wonderfully contrasted between creamy, stringy, and sharp. All while supplemented by that wonderful, um, rich, almost like a blush sauce. His sauce is fantastic. As a matter of fact, next time I visit this place, I'm gonna buy his sauce. He does sell it in jars. It's truly a special pizza. Nice blisters going on. Again, that very unique light pita bread-like crust unlike anything I've had before. Now, Lucali is not a place that's gonna uh, garner high praise for its 120-year-old ovens or its prestige. The place is not old. It's been here for a couple years, which is nothing compared to some of our older pizzerias here in New York City. Uh, there, there's pizzerias here in New York City that have been around since the turn of the 20th century, like 1900s ovens um, uh, from the 20s and they're still in operation this pizza is made in an oven that was just built um, years ago uh, but prestige aside if you want a nice elegant pizza this is date night pizza this is a pizza you 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 know, it's light and, and it's not heavy. You can have a drink afterward, a nice glass of wine and, and not feel overstuffed from the pizza. That's why it's engineered in such a way. It's light. There's exotic cheese on it. There's uh, basil. The basil on it is so fragrant. I don't know where he gets his basil. Um, it's probably pretty damn good basil because it smelled amazing and tasted amazing uh there's a reason why all the celebrities come here man lennox lewis jay-z uh basketball players sports players knicks players there's a reason why it's because where are you going to get a pie like that nowhere in the world will you ever get a pie like that it's kind of like a hybrid like i said it's kind of like a new york pizza and an authentic neapolitan had a baby that's how I would describe this thing. It's just the, you taste the ingredients. Uh, nothing is overpowering. The, the cheese to sauce ratio is perfect. Crust, very light, airy, pita bread-like. Uh, but that crust, uh, it, cr it wasn't the crunchiest pizza. It wasn't the crispiest pizza. But you can't really just rate pizza based on crisp alone. Uh, Lucali, I've been here before. I'm going to keep coming back, obviously, because sometimes you just want pizza... Uh, you want that, uh, you want a pizza with character, a unique character that you can't find in your neighborhood or perhaps in your state or country. <laughs> so uh, people do travel here from all over the world, guys. There's a reason why.
It's a pizza I would travel over that bridge for again and again, guys. Like I said, those flavors just hit you all at once. Pow. That palate, man, is like overburdened with cheesiness and and the nice acidic, uh, sweet uh, tomato sauce that, that's almost... Uh, it, it's, it's almost like a creamy tomato sauce. It was incredible. The basil, the lightness of the crust. Not the crispiest pie. Again, I don't rate pies based on crisp alone. It's all about the flavor, the ingredients, the quality of the cheeses. His, his buffalo cheese, expensive stuff. Parmesan, expensive stuff. And it was, you know, the sauce, delicious. The basil, the light, airy crust. The flavor. What are we giving this pie? Come on. What do you think I'm going to give it? A 9-2, baby. 9-2, Drive over that bridge. Cross that state line for this thing, man. Lucali. Yeah, you may not like brick oven. It's not for everybody. I admit, look, I am not a brick oven guy. But I do go to certain brick oven places that make pizza in a unique fashion. Authentic Neapolitans, they all kind of taste the same. Brick oven pizzas, you know, even New York pizza. A lot of them taste the same, no matter where you go. But this is how you do brick oven, man. Just like that. That's how you do it. So you got to give a pizza like that. That's the only one like it in the world. Nothing short of a nine, low nine, nine two. Maybe not my favorite pizza in the world, but it's up there as one of the most recognizable and one of the most uh, wonderfully engineered pizzas probably in the whole world. So be well, guys. Keep those bellies full with some good stuff preferably a Lucali's pizza. Don't get any toppings on this pie either, guys. All right, maybe a little pepperoni, but get a half pepperoni. You got to taste that pizza for what it is. Pizza, like Mark says, like the owner says, pizza is cheese sauce dough. That's it. Get it, guys. Go get this thing, Brooklyn, New York. And while you're here, enjoy the wonderful architecture um, that you saw in this beginning, in the beginning of this video. Beautiful brownstone buildings, lots of charm in Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn. Uh, you can get a nice pizza. Uh, maybe go out on a date here when it opens up again. Um, they're only doing takeout for now. And afterward, go for a nice stroll through Carroll Gardens. There's beautiful coffee shops everywhere, candy shops, chocolatier shops. Um, what a place. Be well, guys. Keep those bellies full. Thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can watch my videos when they drop. Until next time, this is Antonio coming to you from the charming streets of Brooklyn, New York, signing off.